Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research. I'm Jen Amos, and this is your Morning Market Alert for Thursday, November 3rd. We're seeing some modest gains in U.S. stock futures and equity markets around the world, but global investors may remain cautious today. The Group of 20 Summit is getting underway in Cannes, France, and Greece's debt solution may top the agenda. The country's prime minister called an emergency cabinet meeting after his finance minister publicly opposed a plan for a referendum on Greece's latest bailout. The call for a referendum surprised the other members of the Eurozone and is raising fears that Greece may default on its debt. German Chancellor Angela Merkel and French, French President Nicolas Sarkozy said that Greece has to decide whether it wants to remain in the Eurozone and that no more bailout money will be paid until it answers that question. The European Central Bank is also in the news this morning as investors await its first policy decision since Mario Draghi took over the helm for Jean-Claude Trichet. Economists expect that the central bank will cut interest rates either today or in December to try and spur economic growth. Ahead of that decision, the euro is gaining ground against the dollar. And that relative weakness in the U.S. currency is giving a boost to commodities. Gold is jumping back above $1,750 an ounce, while crude oil is now trading above $93 a barrel. Meanwhile, investors are selling U.S. Treasuries, sending the yield on the benchmark 10-year note back above 2%. And in the European debt markets, we're seeing more fear of contagion. The yield on Italy's 10-year bond hit a euro-era high of 6.4% earlier before dropping back a bit. There are major concerns that borrowing costs above 6% may prove unsustainable for Italy. Along with the eurozone, the U.S. economy is also in focus this morning. Investors are reacting to data on jobless claims and productivity, and we'll bring you those numbers after the opening bell. Then later this morning, the Institute for Supply Management will release its non-manufacturing index, measuring the services sector. We'll also get a look at factory orders at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. In addition, retailers are releasing their October sales figures throughout the day. We've already heard from Target, which posted a 3.3% increase, and Macy's at 2.2%. Saks saw its sales grow by 1.8%. Meanwhile, limited brands reported a 6% jump in same-store sales and raised its earnings outlook for the current quarter. But the sales figures missed estimates, and limited shares are falling more than 4%. One related company in the news is Estee Lauder. It boosted its annual dividend by 40% and declared a two-for-one stock split. The biggest name on this morning's earnings calendar may be Kellogg. It reported third-quarter profit of $0.80 cents a share, down from $0.90 cents in the same period last year. Shares of Kellogg are dropping 3% on the news. Meanwhile, CVS Caremark reported a 7.3% increase in net income on 12% higher revenue. Those results were roughly in line with estimates, although adjusted earnings fell a bit shy of expectations. CVS also lifted the bottom end of its full-year earnings forecast. And finally, one big winner today may be Qualcomm. After yesterday's closing bell, the wireless component maker topped expectations with its profit and sales results. Qualcomm also said it expects next year's results to be above Wall Street forecasts. Right now, the stock is jumping nearly 10%. That's the latest from Weiss Research. We'll be back after the opening bell with all the economic data and market reaction.